I just found the most incredible image to video AI tool and I'm not exaggerating. It's seriously a game changer. Unlike some other tools that can keep you waiting for ages, this one whips up results in no time. I put it hat to hat with Minimax, which is another top contender by the way, and wow, this new AI knocked it out of the park. Just look at this comparison, it's faster, the quality is noticeably better and best of all, no watermarks. But here's where it gets even cooler. This AI is super generous with three credits and it's pushing boundaries in terms of what kind of content it can handle. Plus, the face swapping feature is mind-blowing. We're talking full makeovers, changing hair, skin tone, even adding or removing beards. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to use this awesome feature. With that said, let's get started. And for the best results, you will have to have a quality prompt. So I highly recommend using ChatGPT to create a prompt for your AI images. So here I'll just write to ChatGPT, write a prompt for an image of influencer and this will come up with a really cool prompt so here i'll just copy it just like so and now you want to go to another tool which is called rubberband.com i will also put this link in the video description right below the like button and if you guys are enjoying this type of content make sure that you smash up the subscribe button as well make sure that you select here text to image and on the right make sure that you have this model selected to flux 1.1 pro and number of images I will put just to three. Now, once you have this done, just paste the prompt which you got from the ChatGPT to this input window. And now click on this arrow. And right now, rubber band should come up with three images of this exact prompt. And here you can also see the indicator. And here we have three of the images. I think that this last one looks the best. So I click on here and now I can also edit or apply this image, download it or upscale it. I'll just click on download here. And another cool tool which you can also use to create your images of an AI influencer is called Kriya. Now Kriya is also a brand new tool and they recently introduced their Flux model to their pipeline. So if I click on Flux here, I will just go to the aspect ratio, make sure that you set this to 16 by 9 and I will just paste this same prompt from the ChatGPT to this model right here. But the thing is, which I will change here is the person. So here where it says person, I will change this to girl. So just like this. And now I'll click on generate and hopefully right now Korea will come up with some really cool images. By the way, Korea is also free to use. So make sure to go in the video description below, pause this video and click on one of these links right here. And here we have another four examples of the images. I think that this look very similar to this one right here, which was created by Rubberband. However, with the Flux, we have also four of the options, which I think is very, very cool. Now I will download this one right here. And if you want to choose a different style here on Korea, you guys can also click here on add style and pick whatever style here you prefer. Here, for example, I will just click on this one and let's click on generate. And now we should see completely different images from this ones before, which had no style. And now here you can pretty much see different colors and different lightning here on the images. I think that this one looks the best. So I'll click on here to download the image. And now we can go to create AI video. So here we are going to use seller pick and I will also put this link in the video description below. So so one thing is which you have to do here, go to seller pick, make sure that you sign up because that way you will also get 20 credits for free. And if you guys want to get more of the credits, you guys can simply go to and follow their discord or their Twitter account. Now here, make sure that you click here image to video and now I'll click on device. And now you will pretty much select the image which you want to upload or make it to the video. I'll just click on this first one and click on open. And uh, right now this is uploading the image and this is our AI influencer. Now here you can also see that this will take around 10 credits to generate and current credits balance is 20. So for image to video, you guys can pretty much write in something here. I will just go here to the flux 
and copy this same prompt and paste it right here. So the prompt does need to be anything very detailed because you can also use this option here, magic prompt, which will also enhance your prompt from the get go. So if you have, let's say a few words only here, you guys can only enable magic prompt here and it will enhance your prompt here. So right now I'll click on generate and let's see what will happen with the video right here. And now let's also take a look at the video. So here we have this video. I think it looks very, very nice. We have this natural bokeh going on and we also have people walking around here. I think it actually looks kind of good. So here we have the original image and now we have here the video, which I think it looks absolutely crazy or the free tool which you can pretty much use by the way if you run out out of the credits you guys can always just create another account with the 10 minute mail but all in all i think that this tool really creates some cool videos from the images and uh, i highly recommend of using it especially if you're planning to create ai influencers and now we can also try this different mode which is called swap fashion model so here we can also see that it has some of the benefits like ideal for products with patterns or text but it's not ideal for if you need for example unique poses and angles of four models and it also performs poorly in flat lay and hanger displays so if i click on here i will upload just completely different image which i got from Korea, and i will also put the link for the Korea in the video description below by the way and now i'll click on the open and this should upload the image and you guys can also see here that is cropping the actual image right now and let's see what will happen so this is pretty much it now here we have two of the options first one is the model so for the model you guys can pretty much here pick whatever person you prefer let's say i will click on this one right here which has a different hairstyle or different color of the hair and now for the gender you guys can pretty much select here female age let's say here middle age and the region we have here whatever so here i'll let's say click on this one or this one and then we can also here click on the scene so if i click on the scene we can pretty much change the location of the person as well i I think that this one will fit the image overall so let's right now click on generate and let's see what will happen right now so here we can also see at the bottom the pipeline so from the first image to this two of the options so the face swap as well as the background swap so hopefully this will also happen on this image and now here we have plenty of the images so i think that the face swap as well as the location swap did a really good job of changing the actual image and the person here so let's take a look here for example here we have the original on the left and here we have the new image here on the right overall i think it's okay but you can also here download the image you guys can use any of the tools here like image to video background replacer background remover and stuff like that and then you can also turn on or off compare let's go to the second image which is this one right here this one also looks very similar to the first one but we also have a bit more detail on the phone here let's go to the third one which is this one this one looks very similar to the first and the second one i think it looks okay and then we have the last image which is this one very similar to both of the three images generated with this model and i think this is very very usable nonetheless so yeah i think this is pretty much it for this face swap and the scene swap as well i think it works just as well as the first option which is image to video now with that said this is pretty much it for the video thank you so much for watching if you guys learned something from this video make sure that you smash up the like button and make sure that you click on the subscribe button as well with that said i will leave every single tool which you need to create an ai influencer in the video description right below the like button and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all around in the next video.